Shifting our focus back to South Korea now, food delivery services have been going strong here in the nation. Their business is thriving amid the pandemic. However, some voice concerns over rising fees. Ideon zooms in on this issue. Food delivery services have accelerated in South Korea over the past few years. According to Statistics Korea on Friday, food delivery sales revenue in February saw a record high of around 65 million U.S. dollars. But at the same time, customers are having to deal with higher delivery fees. Until six months ago, I would pay 1,900 Korean won or around 1.5 U.S. dollar delivery fee to order a sandwich. But now that I check the delivery fee again for the same store, it's gone up to 5,001 or around four dollars. Delivery fees has risen across the board, and many believe that they're just too high. According to survey data released by think tanks Whole Institute on Monday, almost 80 percent of the respondents said they use a mobile app to order food delivery. The apps charge commission from the vendors for each order as well as for delivery, adding additional fees to the overall order. More than half of app users chose less than 2001 or around $1.6 as being a reasonable delivery fee. But some have stopped using apps altogether. The rise in delivery fees is stopping me from using delivery service apps. It costs like 5,000 won, which I think is too expensive. Some store owners are also struggling with commission fees amid soaring delivery prices. We offer additional perks or complimentary menu items for those customers who visit the store for takeout. One delivery service industry insider who wanted to remain anonymous told us that the hike in delivery fees was inevitable due to an increase in demand and a lack of riders. We're looking for ways to coexist with store owners and customers. The government also needs to talk about delivery fees while taking into consideration the delivery platforms, store owners and customers, and find ways to resolve the rider shortage issue. Amid soaring delivery fees, some are seeking creative ways to save money. One startup company has developed a mobile app to help people who live close to each other order food from one restaurant all at once. This way, the delivery fee is shared. But one expert says he expects the industry to stabilize eventually. As more delivery platforms are emerging, which is making the market more competitive, delivery fees and commissions are forecasted to fall and be stabilized in the long term. He added, although the government had already said in February this year that it wanted more transparency from delivery apps, more information like commission fees should also be clearly stated before customers place their orders. Lee Dae-hyun, Arirang News.